As I went along, I gained experience in handling the machine. Ever since H.G. Wells penned The Time Machine, writers and readers alike have been in love with time travel. But lately, with The Time Traveler's Wife... You told me this would happen. ...the new Star Trek film... What is the current star date? Star date? Lost heroes flash forward. Time travel seems to be experiencing a renaissance. America has time travel on the brain. Captain, I'm getting an unusual reading. But what about the science of time travel? Is there such a thing? Is there any chance it's possible? According to well-known physicist Stephen Hawking, no. And the best evidence we have that time travel is impossible is that if it were ever invented, there would already be time-traveling tourists here amongst us. But I say, maybe there are. I mean, they're not gonna be obvious about it. They're gonna wear the clothes of our time, not silver spandex and leotards. And if they have pointy ears, they're gonna wear a ski cap over them. Speculation. Hell, I don't even know when there's another Jew around, let alone a time traveler. In fact, that's why, every once in a while, when I meet a stranger, instead of asking them, where are you from, I like to ask, when are you from, in the hope that I might trip one up. When are you from? 2170, when are you from? Now, get a net! I told you they were real, we got one. Put him in a cage, poke him. That's what we do in our time. Who's ready to get in a big If you're thinking maybe I should use something more advanced than a net, let me remind you, a net will always work. It's good, dependable technology. Anyway, he's from the future. He should have seen it coming. Take your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape. If I ever invented a time machine, the first trip I would take would be into the far future to get the more advanced model. Instead of this clunky old DeLorean that doesn't have all the bugs worked out, I want one that's just a belt or a wristwatch. At Tulane University, there's a physicist, Frank Tipler, who demonstrated mathematically that a massive, fast-spinning cylinder could warp space-time in such a way to allow travel backwards in time. But once again, according to Stephen Hawking, the cylinder would have to be infinitely long, which could be an engineering problem. Another major argument against time travel is that it can lead to paradoxes. And if it can create a paradox, maybe it's just not possible. The classic time travel paradox is called the grandfather paradox. If you went back in time and killed your grandfather before your father was even born, then you would never have been born. So how could you have gone back in time and killed your grandfather? Are you hurt, Tim? It's a paradox, but I believe I solved it. Your grandmother had an affair. You killed the wrong guy. Your grandmother was a hussy, paradox lost. Sometimes it takes a comedian. I'm Brian Mallow, streaming through time.com.